Thrombosis.tv. Thomas Baldrick here at the 2015 ISTH conference in Toronto, joined now by Dr. Oliver Grotke from RWTH University Hospital in Germany. Thanks for coming all the way here just to do this. Thank you very much. It's a great pleasure and honor to be here. All right, so you've got an abstract here. Let, tell us about what research you're presenting and, and why you chose to do this. Well, I was investigating over the last two and a half years Iterosizumab, which is a specific antidote fragment to Dabigatran in several models, experimental models of bleeding, uh, to see the impact of fully anticoagulated organisms, followed by severe trauma, investigated the impact uh, potentially reducing uh, blood loss uh, when we use Iterosizumab. So the study that I presented here was one part of this whole study which was primarily interest in looking at when we have continuous bleeding under anticoagulation following a first dose of idarazizumab giving a second dose of idarazizumab one hour later and we actually looked at three different doses then of idarazizumab in this setting and what were the key findings that you discovered well we saw that we have first of all in our animals which of course are all anesthetized uh, and when we induce uh, this blunt liver injury, f and including also bilateral femur fracture, or uh, after anticoagulation with dabigatran, uh, we found that if we give a first dose of 60 milligrams of idarazizumab, we see immediately significant reduction in blood loss. But then again, after, second, uh, after the first injury, we performed a second one after one hour, and we found if we give no up, but only placebo then, uh, that the uh, bleeding started again. And this was due to the fact that the dabigatran levels, which were initially neutralized, came back after the second trauma. When we used the split dose in a different group, 60 and 60 milligrams per kick up, we found a significant reduction both after the first and also after the second trauma, uh, which means and implies that fully reversal then after the second dose of idarazizumab and the, the second trauma, we could see that this uh, proved 100% uh, of survival and uh, which was caused by fully neutralization of dabigatran anticoagulation. In your opinion, why is it important to have an antidote for dabigatran? Well, as with L, all the anticoagulants, uh, you want to anticoagulate your patient and if you're in an emergency situation like a polytraumatized patients, following a car accident whatsoever, being on an anticoagulant, you want to have, if you bring your patient to the hospital, immediate re reversal of your anticoagulant to prevent further bleeding on that. And that's why I think it's important to have a specific antidote. Who are the types of patients that would benefit if this agent is approved? Well, it's obviously the patients that come in hospital and which need immediately reversal. So, for instance, patients which have severe, massive, life-threatening bleeding, including polytraumatized patients, patients with uh, uh, intracranial hemorrhage, for instance, they are those patients that immediately uh, need any reversal of their anticoagulant. If we have patients which do not require urgent surgery, for instance, which can be delayed for 12 or 24 hours, you obviously just can wait till, uh, uh, till the effects of your anticoagulants are gone. But it's really specifically for the patients that come in, need immediately a procedure where there's no time actually to wait till your anticoagulant effects get off. Okay, nicely done, Dr. Reitke. Thanks for coming by and sharing your work with us. Thank you very much, it was a pleasure.